Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we are going to open up 20 of the brand new mystery boxes that are available exclusively at Walgreens. Now these came out a couple weeks ago and uh, with the traveling that I've been doing and just general overall busyness, I wasn't able to get around to doing it. So we're doing this video today. Now these are available at Walgreens. I don't exactly know how much they are though because I went the route of buying every single one of these off of eBay. That's right. I looked at, at maybe two Walgreens and I was like, I am never going to find these in the wild. So I bought three different lots of uh, between six and eight of these to make up 20 total. Now these supposedly could have some very good things in them. There's four factory sealed packs and there's one mystery card per box. And from what I've heard, sometimes these factory sealed packs can be packs from 2018 maybe 2019 we're going to check it out today and see if this is worth picking up if it's your, at your local Walgreens I don't know how much this is I'm guessing it might be about ten dollars a piece or so but Alton is up next or first I should say let's go ahead and get started here we go there's seals on two stickers on each side to prevent people from doing one of these and peering in to seeing if it has maybe a nice 2018 pack or whatever in there so I will have to uh, use the box cutter today for these. And these are going to be in lots of five. So Alan has five mystery boxes. Let's see what he has. Okay. 2019 Top Series 1. I see those already. Those are pretty good now. There's a lot of rookies that were just completely overlooked before. They're now really, really good. Like Cedric Mullins and Adolis Garcia and a couple other ones as well. We have three of these bad boys. Um, 16 card, 10 card, and 10 card, and a pinnacle from 2013. The bonus card for Alton is going to be a Frankie Lindor. So what we'll do to speed the video along is I'll open all four. Uh, did I say four or five? Pa it's four packs per spot. I have 20 and I have five people. Here's your next one, Alton, and we'll open all the packs up at once for you. I'm hoping it's not all 2019 Series 1. It's this, this is the same as before. The bonus card is going to be another Francisco Lindor. So it looks like whoever put together these Walgreens packs may have purchased a large Francisco Lindor collection, at least right now. Next, we've got, okay, something a little different here. I see a red pack. Lots of 2019, but check, oh, check this out, folks. That is a pack of 2013 update. That's pretty awesome. Now, I haven't opened 2013 update in a long time. But there's some pretty big names in that. Um, I believe it's Machado. I want to say Betts and DeGrom are in there, but may, maybe uh, maybe it's Betts. We'll see. I should buff up. It's been like two years since I've opened 2013 update. I just know that that's, in a, very, that's a very expensive box. You get a Dylan Floro tops. Um, is that a Ben Baller card? I, I, I don't even know, but... Um, Another kind of weirdo card there. So, so far, the 2013 pack is what we have to look forward to in this. A lot of 2019 to look forward to as well, if you're a fan of that. And this is going to be jam-packed with more 2019 and a 2013 pack. So, a couple packs of 2013, a whole bunch of 2019, and there's a Don Sutton World Series card. So, let's check out all the stuff. Let's go ahead and start with all of this 2019 we might as well just go ahead and do a super rip of it. Now, some of these are going to be the retail packs, and some are blaster packs. The retail packs have 16 cards each, and the blaster packs have 10. Back then, it used to come, the blasters used to come 10, um, 10 packs, 10 cards per pack, and then they switched up on us. I forget the year they switched it up. It might have been 2020. They still give you basically the same amount of cards. It's just they give you less packs, more cards per pack. Nowadays, you get 14 cards per pack in your blaster packs, seven packs per box. Still about the same number of total cards overall. It comes out to 99 overall cards, I think. But a whole bunch of 2019 Series 1, which we used to hate this here on the channel because there was really no good rookies to talk about. I mean, the top rookies... Uh, as of about a year ago, it was like Jeff McNeil, Michael Kopech, and Ramon Laureano. But we've got some new ones to add to the list. Let's see if we can find any of those guys today. Kyle Tucker is one that's zooming up the charts in this set. There's a Javi Baez League Leaders card. Corey Seager, who's a free agent. We'll see who he ends up with. Teoscar Hernandez, Joey Votto. 
And we have 20 of these to do in all. Maybe we'll find a really nice older pack. It would be nice. I hate how the cards are switched every which way. That's always a bugaboo of mine. There's Jose Quintana. He just signed a deal with the Buccos. Babe Ruth card upside down. For what reason? I'm not sure. We have an Albert Pujols Stars of the Game card in there as well. So far, no big rookies to write home about. Tyler Glass now. Coming off of Tommy John surgery, Jesse Winker had a good season. There's Aaron Judge, who graces the cover of the pack, along with Babe Ruth. Juan Soto, Gold Cup card. And all these cards are a little bit warped. I don't know if you can tell if I... At least that pack. It's a Ty Cobb reprint card. Shohei Otani and Alex Bregman. Otani, of course, the your most valuable player. There's Mike Trout, former most valuable player times. How many times do you want it? Three, I think. He's been a runner-up a bunch of times. And there we go, Cedric Mullins, your first look at one of the top rookies in this set. And back in the day, Cedric Mullins was a big, I don't want to call him bust, but, uh, man, he was not uh, a very good player when he first broke onto the scene in the big leagues, just struggled mightily. And there were so many of his autographs in pretty much everything that we were kind of sick and tired of seeing his auto, around here at least, and uh, he became kind of like a meme. But now look who's laughing. It's Cedric Mullins. He... It was a 30-30 man for the Orioles and voted their team MVP, which is pretty good. I mean, of course, it's the Orioles. They did lose over 100 games, but he would have been the team MVP on a bunch of teams with his stats. Started the uh, the All-Star game, for Pete's sake. All right, let's see if we can find anything else in here. One decent rookie. There's Nolan Arenado, Jay Bruce, Raphael Devers. And uh, there we go. There's a good one. Adolis Garcia. There's another one of uh, the up-and-coming rookies. He had a really nice start to the season down in Texas, clubbing a bunch of home runs. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., stars of the game. So no Kyle Tucker to look for or look at for Alton. But we'll see. We've got these Pinnacle cards from 2013. Two packs of them. Let's see if we can find anything good in here. we got Mike Moustakis. He had a tough 2021 season. Chris Davis has had a really tough go, so much that he retired. Just outright said, I can't do this anymore. That's a good one. Zach Wheeler, rookie card. He finished third in the um, voting for Cy Young. There's an early Bryce Harper looking back. Harper's rookie card is um, just a couple years ahead of this. Uh, one year ahead of this, actually. Yuri Perez. All right, next we've got 2013 Series 1 been a long time since i've opened 2013 i think maybe uh, machado might be in series one can't exactly remember um we've got scott feldman nice green we got a couple blues jared weaver and ricky weeks anthony bass and matt carpenter and now it's time for the update pack this is where most of the uh value is going to come from from these this run of boxes if we can find one of those good rookie cards in here there's a nice manny machado mini rookie card we'll take that one 1971 style mini, nice Salvi Prez. And unfortunately, the uh, Machado was the best one in that run. So, Alton, thank you very much. Next up, we have Anthony. By the way, if you'd like to be in a video like this one, sponsor a video like this one, or participate in our breaks, check us out on Patreon. It is $4.99 per month. And I thank you for your support. And look at this, we have some different packs. I guess I didn't mix them up good enough. I thought I did. But we have opening day. Oh, look at that. Nice. 2018 Series 2. Why Why am I so excited for that? Well, it's not because Bryce Harper's on the front. There's a 2020 pack as well. It's because you have a shot of finding the Shohei Otani rookie card in there. Or even an, a Ronald Acuna Jr. short print. The bat down card that everybody was so in love with about a year ago at this time. Next, we've got, oh, we're back to this. This collation means a bunch of Series 1 packs. There we go. Let's take a look at those. By the way, the bonus card in that previous pack was a Mark Vientos Refractor. Now we have a Bernie Williams. I think this is from the Francisco Lindor set, which was a set that the Topps company put out maybe about a year or two or three ago. But I guess Francisco Lindor helped design. Next, it's going to be... Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. A Topps Chrome Pack from 2000. And I don't think I've ever opened a box of Topps Chrome. Is this 2015? 2015 Topps Chrome. How about that? There's some chance for some nice rookies in there.
That's pretty, like, uh, man, that's pretty cool. Dustin May rookie card. That's a nice one. And here's the last one for Anthony. So Anthony definitely with the best selection of packs so far in terms of variation at least. Let's see what you got here. It looks like more of the same in terms of 2019 Series 1. But you have a 2012 Allen and Ginter pack in there. Man, they must just have boxes and boxes of 2019 laying around. Majority of the packs from this run. Nice uh, Austin Barnes card there for Anthony. But a majority of cards from this run are also going to be Series uh, 1 from 2019. Let's get the opening day done first. Also from 2019. And then we'll do the 2019 Series 1. So if you pick these up, you're more than likely going to get some packs of 2019 Series 1. Which isn't that terrible anymore. There's some nice cards in there. There's Shohei Otani. But we might not see, I don't know, too much variation. Go I, we still have a bunch more of these to do, by the way. Let's go ahead and super rip these bad boys. Super rip's my term for opening all the, the cards at once from a stack. By the way, it's Black Friday today. Did anybody go out shopping? I spent the morning shopping. Kind of an absolutely great morning. Found some nice deals. Uh, found a nice 70 inch tv i i woke up i set my alarm at 4 30 because walmart opened at 5 somehow i woke up at 5 30 rolled right out of bed and went to walmart found the tv that i wanted there's only two left and then um dropped that back off the house and then headed back out for some more shopping obviously i can't say what i bought or for who but um Definitely a good day of shopping for sure. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have. Uh, at this point, I'm probably just going to flip over the ones that are decent rookie cards or nice parallels. Just to save a little bit of time, there's a Ronald Acuna Jr. and a Trevor Story Stars of the Game card. Let's see what else we have. There's a Dolly Garcia once again. Nice one. He was a... Uh, kind of a, I want to say he was the favorite for the rookie of the year until he just kind of cooled off a bit. He was leading the major leagues in home runs at one point in May. That's a nice one. Ronald Acuna Jr., second year card. 1984 tops. It's been a while since I've done 84 tops. I feel like I have to go back and probably do some of these older boxes again that I haven't opened for so long because, quite frankly, maybe when I opened 84 tops, I may have had way less subscribers then, and a lot of you guys may never have seen me open 84 tops and go after the Mattingly. There's a Cedric Mullins again. He's always followed up by Ryan O'Hearn. Both of those guys together, two peas in a pod in 2019, They're always hand in hand, and their autographs as well would always come out of cases seemingly together. Just had so many of their cards. And our large case breaks, we'd break open like nine cases, get like a dozen Cedric Mullins and Rhino Hearn autographs. Let's do this pinnacle pack. See what's in here. 2013 again, Mike Trout. Nice early Trout card. And do we have a hit here? We have a hit. It's going to be Miguel Montero, former catcher for the D-backs. At least I thought it was a hit. There it is. Miguel Montero. I personally dislike him a great deal. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's... It goes back to a feud between, uh, I think it was Randall Delgado on the mound with um, Andrew McCutcheon at the disc. Some of, you, some of you Pirates fans, hardcore Pirates fans will remember this one. But M Miguel Montero, for the sign, instead of putting down a one for fastball, he put down his middle finger, and that was it. And uh, the next pitch was directly in Kutch's ribs, broke his ribs, so he called for Kutch to get hit. And I hated him ever since, so... Not a big fan personally of Miguel Montero. Really nothing in that 20, um, 20 or 2012 pack. Let's do the 2020 update pack and see if we can find Frank Schwindel or Randy Rosarena. Yoshi Sutsugo just signed a deal back with the Pirates. He had a pretty nice season with us. Kirk Casale gold card. Hasn't uh, really done anything talking about uh, Sutsugo with anybody. But with the Pirates, he was pretty respectable. Had like a 535 slugging percentage. Look at this, by the way. 2015 Chrome. Adam Jones is the first card there. Nelly Cruz, possible future Hall of Famer. Marcelo Zuna and Corey Spangenberg. So nothing really of value in that pack, unfortunately. But this, and this, this is your best shot at something big. Maybe you'll get the Shohei Otani. Maybe you'll get the bat down. The bat down is really rare. It falls about one per case. So... 
Um, I'm not expecting to find it, but you do have a numbered card here. It's going to be a Bregman. It's numbered out of 299. That's not too bad. Unfortunately, no really other valuable cards. So, Anthony, thank you very much. Next, we've got Brian at spot number three. We'll see what we can find for you. I feel like uh, Walgreens did a nice job putting just enough decent packs in here to make us want to buy these. We got opening day for Brian. A couple of those. Hey, 2018 again. Same collation. Dylan Cease Refractor is one of the previous boxes. But if they were just throwing like Babe Ruth Leaf cards in here, that would be atrocious. And uh, the packs are actually not that bad. If you collect cards in general, you're probably going to like these. I don't know why this is even in a, uh, a top loader there. Just a Ginter Greats, just random base insert card there. Not even refractor, but maybe some people really love Joe Morgan. Another 2018 pack and a Heritage pack. And also you have a Topps Now card of Brian McCann celebrating his 2017 World Series win, which of course is a contested win. Of course, they were uh, busted for cheating during the 2017 season. So a lot of people feel like they should have maybe forfeited their trophy there, but they got hit with some other sanctions, including fine and loss of draft picks. Wow, you've got three packs of 2018 and a Peyton Burdick first Chrome card. So, Brian, I think you've done the best so far in terms of, uh, I mean, you got three 2018 packs. That's pretty good. Let's get your 2019s done first and see if there's anything good in there. Why don't we? Tomorrow on the channel, we'll have a Saturday showdown for you. I think we'll have a Saturday showdown for you. We've got the kiddos, so we're planning a big day for them so we'll squeeze in the showdown you usually do that late at night i don't know i've got a few cases i might want to do i'm also thinking about possibly doing a higher end showdown with maybe just a couple higher end boxes and uh just doing a standalone video we'll see all right jonathan lawise goes there let's see what we've got coming up by the way i hope everybody had a really nice thanksgiving there's a 150 card with the gold stamp We've got to decorate our Christmas tree this weekend, so I'm planning on taking the kids out to uh, buy some ornaments. We just bought a brand new Christmas tree. It's 12 feet tall, so I need way more ornaments. And, um, I mean, I guess I could do what some of you suggested last year and just decorate it with, um, like, baseball cards and stuff like that. But I don't know if that would be that fun for the kids. It might be fun for me. There's Pablo Lopez. Kind of a dud run here. Uh, look at that. That's a reprint, obviously. It's an Aaron Judge iconic card. Some of you are probably like, wait a minute. What's that rookie card of Judge doing in here? Uh, it stopped me for a second. And then I realized it's one of those reprints, which gets me every time. All right. That's it for Brian for his 2019. Kind of a crappy run there. Not really much to talk about. Let's do the 2019 opening day. Not too much in these either. But we might as well do them. Got to get the good stuff done last. Save the best for last for each person. Okay, Kyle Tucker. One of the better rookies in that class for sure. That's uh, probably debatably the best card in the entire Series 1 set. Ryan O'Hearn without his buddy Cedric. He might, may have got cut off by one. I don't know if the collation's the same in opening day. Let's do our Heritage Pack next. This is from 2020 and see what we can find. There is a... Yeah, there's really nothing in there, unfortunately. Pinnacle once again. Well, you have a good idea by now what you can find in here. Um, I do like that we've been seeing different cards from each box. Call them a queue with the like 2013 packs. Seems like the staple is going to be 2019. Do we have a thick card in there? Maybe not. I thought maybe we did. But it seems like the second most common is probably going to be these, uh, maybe these update packs. Or, man, those 2018 packs, we've been finding them. Three out of four of your packs, Brian, out of 2018 packs. So here we go. Good luck to you. 2018, such a nice set. Such a nice year for cards. Don't you wish you could just go back three years and just buy a whole bunch of 2018? Get all your Shohei rookies and Acunas and Sotos and all those guys. Shane Bieber's, there's a Adam Frazier, Dylan Maple's rookie card. He hasn't really became much of anything yet. Never know who's going to break out somewhere down the road. Paul Goldschmidt, possible future Hall of Famer. There's Thomas Nitto. 
National Baseball Card Day propaganda. Can we get the Shohei or the short print? We'll take either of those. There's Trey Turner. He had a great season. And really nothing there for Brian in those 2018 packs, unfortunately, in terms of the good rookie. So, Brian, thank you very much. Spot number three is in the books. Moving on to spot number four, we've got Nathan Dougal. Let's see what you have in your packs. Oh, I see 2018, I do believe. You got the 2019, you got the 2018, and you got the Heritage. And this is a nice one. This might be my favorite bonus card that anyone's received so far. It's an Aloy Jimenez Tops Now rookie card. For the Topps uh, rookie, uh, what's it say? Topps rookie team. Pretty cool stuff right there. Alo Jimenez is one of my top favorite players. I've put him top 20. I don't, he's not top five. 2018 pack. Good news there. It's a gallery pack. We've got some 2018 big league. Okay, that's random. That's the first year big league was around. And you got a 28. Wow, that was a good pack. All pack, all cards from 2018. Brandon Crawford came in fourth place in the MVP voting. Had a great season for the Giants. Next up, we got some more 2019. You've got some 2018 Series 2. And you've got a 2020. And you, Oh, look at this. That's another good one. Nathan, you've got Brian Reynolds. He finished in the top 10 for MVP voting as well. Had a great season for the Pirates this year. Uh, had a down 2020. It was a short in 2020, but I think he was dealing with some things with being a brand new father. And maybe his baby was keeping up all, all night, but he wasn't that good in 2020. But he was great in 2019 and uh, great again last year. Another pack. Look at that. Look at that. Nathan, good job. Another Brian Reynolds. So you've had some good luck here. You have four packs of 2018 Series 2. And um, you have three other 2018 packs. That's some good luck. So Nathan will... As always, we'll do the 2019 first. Get those out of the way. You didn't get any opening day, at least. You got the Heritage Packs from 2020, which, in my personal opinion, they're not the greatest. But you never know what you can find in there. All right, here we go. 2019 starting things off. By the way, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope Hopefully, you're having a nice Friday. And hopefully, you got some good plans for the weekend. Kind of a, a nice week with thanksgiving some of you are probably off today it's a second year soda along with the jeff mcneil adam jones who went over to play in japan I mean, he might still be playing i think he's only 35 when he left a couple years ago there's jacob de grom but he left because he was gonna get i think eight million dollars a year over there as opposed to three correa is a free agent his card's been going up a little bit with the opportunity for him to latch on with a big market team, such as maybe the Yankees. We'll see where he ends up. Let's do these big league. This was the first year big league was ever made, which leads me to my next question. Where the heck is 2021 big league? Does anyone know? Can we put up like um, missing persons posters for it? It was supposed to be released, I think, in May, and it just keeps getting pushed back. I think now the new release date is like January of 2022 or something like that. What is going on with the big league release? It's it's a low, low-end release. It's one of the cheapest releases of the year. It's geared towards kids. And, uh, man, I don't know what the heck the deal is with it. Maybe one day we'll find out. Maybe it'll never come out. Who knows? Here's Gallery from 2018. There's some nice rookie cards in this, like the Acuna and the Soto. Unfortunately, we don't find either of those. Only four cards per pack. Now we'll do our Heritage Packs and see what we've got. 2020. Featuring that 1970 Topps design. I'm not a big fan of the 70 Topps designer. Check that, 71. Not a big fan of the 70. I feel like 70 is too bland. 71, I do like the black borders, but it's just super tough to get uh, nice graded cards or, you know, cards in general in good condition from the actual 71 set. And you got something here, Nathan. You have a Max Kepler game used jersey card. So our second hit of the video, we had the autograph earlier. Now we have a game-used jersey from Max Kepler, a nice player for the Twins fans. By the way, every single card is signed here with, uh, you know, it's a, it's not a real signature. It's just a facsimile, so don't get too excited. And we didn't have, like, a hot pack of, like, 30 autographs there. Sometimes people may think that and just be wondering. All right, here's our 2018s. You got four of them, Nathan. Then we got one more stack of these to do on this day after Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone got nice and stuffed for Thanksgiving dinner. Went over to my parents and had a whole bunch of turkey. It was really, really good. 
and uh, probably still feeling it from that. I don't know how long the tryptophan is supposed to last for, but I was definitely tired today. There's Ozzy Albee's rookie car. That's a good one. 1983 Topps design. Probably the best card we've pulled from any of these 2018 packs thus far. Oh, Ozzy Smith short print. Very nice. That's usually the short prints are worth anywhere between $5 and $10. Sandy Alcantara is a good one. A rookie card of Ozzy Albies again. Very nice. So we should probably put that 83 Albies. You got three decent cards here as I lose my place. Steven Strasburg blue. Those blues aren't numbered. What else do we have here? Can we get the Shohei Otani already? That would be nice. Nope, but we did get some nice Aussie Albies. And you got two Brian Reynolds rookie cards, which is pretty awesome. Congratulations on those, Nathan. There it is one more time. 2019 Tops All Rookie Team. And now that takes us to our final spot of these mystery boxes. I probably could have saved this for Mystery Box Monday, but I've been getting some mystery boxes in the mail, and I don't want them to pile up too much and then have to do like a two-hour-long mystery box Monday two weeks from now. So let's see what we've got here. We've got the big league once again. We've got the gallery once again. And we've got a Brandon Crawford once again in our first mystery box. Here's the next one for Manuel. See some 2020 update. Oh, there it is. Opening day. Two of those packs. The update. And we've got Joe Jaquez first. Don't really know who he is. Probably said his name wrong too. Well, Joe, get better and I'll know how to say your name. Manuel, in your next pack, you've got opening day once again. You've got a Series 2, and you've got an update pack, and a refractor of Mike Shaw... Shaw Ryan? I, I don't know. Don't know him. Shaw Ryan? Really weird spelling there. Shaw Ryan. A-R-Y-N. Some more 2019. Wow, is that the first 2019 packs? Yes. That's kind of interesting. How about a Walker Buehler World Series card? Nice one right there. All right, so not a lot of 2019 Series 1. We got only two of those for Manuel, but we do have the opening day. We'll get those done first. And this will be it for the video. Thank you very much again for watching, everybody. I hope that if you're new here, you'll hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button for me. would really appreciate that. And hopefully everybody's having a very, very good Friday. Also, don't forget to tap that notification bell. That way, whenever we go live or post a no vid new video, you'll get new notified. Man, I can't even talk. Can you tell I woke up at like 5 in the morning? There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup card. Let's see what else we have in here. There's Kevin Pillar. Kristen Stewart hasn't really turned into too much. Syndergaard, $21 million man on a one-year deal to the Angels. Well, I hope he does well, just because I'm hoping the Angels can get to the playoffs. Nothing against the other teams in the West. It's just I really need to see Mike Trout in the playoffs. He only has only played three games in the playoffs in, in his entire career. Aaron Judge, Freddie Freeman. We saw those two earlier. Looks like nothing crazy to write home about there. Let's do the big league. Now, 2018 big league uh, came out, I think, in like May. So the Acuna and the... Soto and stuff aren't in this set as I remember. You probably have some like some of the nice rookies from Series One in here, maybe like um, Walker Bueller and stuff like that. There's Clint Frazier rookie card. He just got let go by the Yankees. Just has been really, really dragged down by um, Vertigo. It's dizzy all the time. It's scary stuff there. Hopefully Frazier can get healthy and get the help he needs because he was a really bright prospect coming up through the system there with the Indians. There's a Masters Sandy Koufax. Jack Flaherty rookie card. Let's do our 2020 Heritage Pack and see what we've got going on in here. Randall Gritchick is on the top. Um, nothing too crazy. There's a Will Smith Gold Cup card. Franmil Reyes is the last one there. And now that takes us to... Let's do update and see if we can find... Randy, Randy Rosarena, or Frank Schwindel, or who else do we have in here? Trent Grisham. All right, so there's Tommy Pham. We got a Francisco Lindor. Sixto Sanchez prospect card, Derek Jeter, Turkey Red. Gavin Lux, rookie debut, one of, I think they put like 10 rookie debuts in 2020 update. Not a whole lot. Not compared to 2021 update. Man, do they ever fill up that set with the uh, rookie debut cards, which I'm not complaining because that's just more rookie cards to grab. 
But here we go, Manuel. You got the probably the luckiest of 2018. All four of your packs, and you have a redemption card right there. All four of your packs, your mystery packs, had a pack of these in there, which is pretty good. Now, that redemption card, by the way, that's going to be for MLB The Show, so it's long since expired. You would have been able to receive some digital packs to open and uh, maybe improve your Diamond Dynasty team. I used to do that. In fact, I used to buy these off of eBay, the, uh, the codes, rather, just to beef up my Diamond Dynasty team. I think it was like $2 a card or something like that. There's the uh, code. I don't even know if that's active anymore. All right, we've got a gold card of Gregor Blanco, Yadier Molina. I saw a picture of him with uh, his buddy Adam Wainwright. They celebrated Thanksgiving together down in Puerto Rico. Pretty cool. And they'll, they'll both be back, I believe, for at least one more go-around. Yeah, it will be their last go-around because Yachty's retiring after this coming season. Got a rookie of Taylor Williams. That's a gold card. Brian Anderson. All right, so all those packs of 2018, maybe oh, we had 20 total boxes. We probably had at least 10 to 10, 12 packs of 2018. Did not find the Shohei Otani rookie card, unfortunately. But at least now you have a good idea if you see those. I would suggest you pick them up because 2018 packs are really fun to open. Go after that Shohei rookie card. And uh, overall, I feel like the packs are pretty good. 2018 and 2019 packs are now tough to come by. Uh, the prices of those have been going up. So if you do see these on your shelves at uh, Walgreens, you probably want to buy it because it's not going to last too long. I, I feel like this is a good product. You can let me know if I'm wrong. You can let me know if it's complete trash or whatever. Um, but you can also pick these up on eBay, and I think they go for around $20 or something a piece on eBay um, or so. So that'll do it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.